Thank you, Caroline. Meantime, the Cranston City Council voting in favor of two resolutions aimed at making schools safer in the wake of the Parkland, Florida school shooting. And residents came out in force to make their voices heard on the topic. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian was there for the entire meeting, and she joins us now live from Cranston City Hall with the new details. Kim? Well, Shannon, this was a three and a half hour meeting tonight filled with plenty of impassioned public testimony and partisan debate among the city councilors as they debated two dueling resolutions, both aimed at making public schools safer, but in two very different ways. Now, the two resolutions up for consideration, a Republican resolution that would encourage the General Assembly to consider steps like adding metal detectors, lock boxes for concealed weapons and armed guards at local schools, while a Democratic backed proposal would urge legislators to make local schools gun free zones. Now, many who spoke tonight took issue with the Republican backed resolution, saying the Democrats proposal had languished for months and the Republicans seemed politically motivated. The council president, a Republican himself, denied that. So my goal is to make schools safer. So no idea is off off topic. Uh, the subcommittee I'm going to create will have members of the school department on it, members of the mayor's administration. I'm going to put some Democrats on it, a Republican. It's going to be a bipartisan group. So I think it's important for you all to understand before you undertake something of this magnitude, the Cranston School Department, who in fact has the care and control of the school buildings, all 26 and 11,000 students in it, has already been fervently working on this. And ultimately, at the end of the night, after hours of public testimony, both resolutions cleared the city council and a subcommittee will be taking a look at the Republicans proposal. But don't expect to see any of these changes implemented in Cranston Public Schools. These resolutions are just a formal way of the council urging the General Assembly to take action. Reporting live in Cranston tonight, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.